Hey, I'm Bill. This is Vital Bike Chains. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, the difference between the types of lubes. Basically, you have a wet lube, a dry lube, and then you have a wax. So I'm going to talk about the differences and we're going to do a little experiment to show you uh, what that means to your bike chain. All right, so the wax chain has been waxed using uh, Silka's Secret Chain Wax. And then uh, for the dry lube chain, I'm going to use this uh, squirt dry lube. I'm just adding a drop to each of the rollers. And I have the wet lube. I'm using something by Rock Ride. It's actually what I've been using for uh, my brake cables. Again, I'm just going to add a drop each of the rollers. Now we need to let that dry for a day or so uh, so that the dry lube can do its thing. So I've watched every Star Wars movie and now I'm back a day later and uh, what's interesting surprising to me is for the wet lube it looks like uh, the the lube has actually just kind of penetrated the paper towel. It makes me wonder how much lube is actually still on the chain. Uh, but we're going to move forward. So I wanted to replicate a chain being, you know, on its most miserable day, mountain biking or gravel biking. And so I need to source some sand or dirt, but in Florida it's sand. And um, rather than stealing... Uh, bucket of sand from the mountain bike trails. I went to the store and purchased some and you won't believe the luck people give you in Florida when you buy sand. And here are the chains. Now, just looking at them, yeah, the one with the wax definitely has less sand. And to me, the one with the dry lube actually has the most sand. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I weigh each chain before I dipped it in sand and then weigh it after, and then I could do a calculation a percentage of how much each chain has gained in weight. You were thinking that, right? Well, why didn't I do it? Because I just thought of it myself. So I just shook each chain a little bit and basically nothing, nothing has changed. So here's the thing. The wet lube, if you remember, the first paper towel I had, it was soaked in the wet lube. So I'm thinking over the course of me watching all the Star Wars movies, all that lube has just dripped in or wicked off into the paper towel and there really isn't any lube on the chain. So I think I'm gonna do the fair thing and now add the wet lube and then immediately dip the chain into the sand because I think this is what most people do is they lube their chain and then within a few minutes, they go ride their bike. And now here's the chains again, just after I put more lube on the chain tagged as wet, dipped it back in the sand, and now we, I feel like we get a real comparison. Okay, so you be the judge. Um, something to keep in mind is doing the full waxing of the chain takes a lot of prep work, maybe costs a little bit more. Uh, the dry loops takes a little bit of thinking ahead. You don't want to do this right before you go ride, else you're just taking dry lube and making it wet lube. 
Uh, and then you have sort of the, I don't know, the easiest lube option right at the last minute, just drip on some wet lube onto your chain and go, go ride. Well, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.